In just about two weeks, Linda's World will celebrate its one year anniversary here on YouTube. And it's been about half that amount of time that I've been sitting down every Sunday night to film Self Care Sundays, a weekly series where we explore situations regarding your own personal self care. We've talked about frivolous things like how going to the hair salon can be beneficial to you. We've talked about serious things like how to combat your anxiety and depression. And we've even tackled controversial subjects like how toxic positivity and manifestation may be ruining your self esteem and self care. But Tonight, for the first time ever, Linda's World presents something that's a little more interactive than that. I present to you a challenge. I'm Linda. This is Linda's World. Once again, this is Self Care Sundays. And tonight, may I present the Linda's World 5-Day Challenge to Self Care. If you want to know what I'm expecting of you in these next 5 days, well then stick around, because Self Care Sundays in this new background starts right now. <music> self-care Sundays in Linda's world that you've come to know and love over the last few months, but the set design, of course, is a little bit different. I chose the corner of my house that best describes who I am and what I like to do in my own personal self-care. This, for example, is my own arts and crafts. This wrought iron table used to be green, then it was black, now it's distressed white and I painted it all by myself. I like to do those things. This is a plant given to me by my mother and she's given me some more because she knew I wanted to start a collection. Thank you. And these are just some of the books that have brought me joy and or education over the last 20 to 25 years that I put on shelves and there's another one just like it over there. And of course my commemorative I Love Lucy plate because I can't remember a time in my life when I Love Lucy wasn't there for me when I needed it. On sick days, on not sick days, on winter days, on summer days, vacation days, work days, days with my little dog Sophia, days with my little dog Chloe, days when I was 11, days when I was 18, all the days of my life and I've always found comfort in I Love Lucy because it's always there when I need it, when I'm sipping my coffee, playing with my little dog and enjoying the early morning hours. Now, before we get to the self-care challenge, I have another separate challenge for you. If you are just a casual viewer or if you're a person who's just finding this video by chance on the internet and you're not yet a member of Linda's World, I challenge you to become one by hitting the subscribe button right down below. And of course, as I always say, when you're there subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell because then you'll be alerted when I post new videos to this channel and you'll be updated on all the information regarding even a couple of giveaways that are coming in our future. Another congratulations, of course, to the winner of the Ulta gift card giveaway for 200 subscribers. We currently stand at 215, so let's see what we can do to get ourselves to 300 and, of course, more giveaways. And now, on with the challenge. Now, self-care. There are different kinds of self-care, of course, and we've outlined this along the last months of self-care Sundays on this channel. But I don't know, and I might be remiss here, that I have ever actually said to you what you should literally do. You know, literally what should you do to bring yourself some self-care? You know, we've talked about things that are wrong in your life, how you can find the way to figure out how to handle them when they're not right. But I don't know that I've ever said, hey, here's what to do to keep things aligned, keep things right. Here's what to do to take care of yourself. You know, in all the conversations we've talked about things that are going wrong, I don't think we've ever actually taken an action plan before. Well, today we start. So I give to you the Linda's World five day action plan. Actually, the Linda's World five day self care challenge. Okay, are you up to the task? Well. Here we go. Now I chose five days specifically because five days is the work week. You know, you want to do this Monday through Friday. Can you do it at any time? Well, of course, but I'm suggesting Monday through Friday because we'll meet again on Sunday and we can see how you've done. See how that works? It's sort of like um, when I'm uh, in class. I'm an English teacher. For those of you who are new, I've been teaching high school English for 20 years. And so you go about the week teaching the lessons and then on Friday you assess. So, let us see what our lessons and assessments will be, shall we? Okay, so now self-care has different branches, as I've said before, and you know, they're spiritual and emotional and physical and so on and so forth. So I've concocted a five-day plan that will get, will kind of reach all five of those, you know? And so with no further ado, here they are. I would like you to wake up tomorrow morning, Monday morning, and I would like you to, at some point during the day, to listen to a song, not just any song, a song that you feel defines you, a song that you feel 
tells you the story of your life or a facet of your life or something like that. A song that really resonates with you. The song that you cry over maybe. Not because it's sad, but because it's so incredibly beautiful and meaningful to you. Doesn't matter what genre, doesn't matter how long it is, doesn't matter how old it is or how new it is, a song you feel in some way defines you. Now here's the kicker. When you listen to that song, whether on your headphones, out loud, your computer, your stereo, do people still own stereos? I do. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter how you play it. You are not supposed to do anything else but sit there and listen to that song. Listen to the beat. Listen to the different instruments. Listen specifically to the lyrics because after all, it is a song that defines you, right? So truly embrace the lyrics of the song that define you. Listen, think, observe, be in the moment with the song. Be mindful as you listen to the song. Be mindful of the vocal performance, if that's something that's of interest to you, or the way the drums are, the way the piano is, or whatever. But also specifically, be aware of its meaning to you personally as an individual, okay? And when you're done, you're done. That's your thing of self-care for Monday. You've listened to a song that defines you, and you will, I'm sure, feel differently about yourself when you're done. Now, Go to bed, wake up, and do what's in store for you on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I don't need you to play a song. I don't need you to spend any money. I don't need you to do anything crazy like that. Here's what I need you to do. On Tuesday, you are charged with saying no. Say no to someone or something. Someone might ask you a question. They might ask you to do something that you really don't want to do. They might ask you to go someplace that you don't want to go. They might ask you for your time and you don't have any. Whatever the case may be, say no. Only if, of course, you feel that you should say no. I mean, if you'd like to do it, go ahead and do it. But if you are sitting there in a situation on Tuesday where you feel as though you really shouldn't or you really can't or you're too tired or it's not your cup of tea or whatever, okay, and a person asks something of you on Tuesday, you tell that person no. Just do it. It's amazing. You'd be amazed at how saying no can impact your life positively. You know, there's all of those challenges out there saying, um, have a day where you say yes to everything or have say yes night where everything that happens say yes. This time say no, just once, okay? Pick your no wisely, okay? Don't get yourself in trouble at work or anything like that, but say no if to something that makes you feel uncomfortable on Tuesday. Could be online, doesn't matter, but say no if you feel as though the answer is no. Are you ready for Wednesday? Good. Wednesday. Wednesday is about food. Here's what I want you to do on Wednesday. As part of your self-care ritual on Wednesday, I want you to eat something, but don't just eat anything. Here's what you're going to eat. Eat a food. Doesn't matter if it's cheap, expensive, it's in your house, you have to go get it, doesn't matter. Eat a food that you love in the way that you love it. Take your meal or your snack, whatever. It could be a bag of Doritos, could be a Big Mac, doesn't matter. And you take that food that you love and you sit somewhere where you have the time, okay? And you eat it in front of the TV, eat it in your bed, eat it wherever you feel most comfortable eating, okay? And take that food that you love and enjoy your food. Be present in the moment with your meal. If you're eating a burger and fries, you suck down that burger and fries and chew every morsel and enjoy it okay? Eat alone, okay, if you can, because this is about self-care. It's not about a family meal. There's plenty of time for that, okay? And so eat alone and experience your food. Taste your food. Remind yourself why you like that particular food so much. It doesn't have to be healthy for you. If you're a person who prefers to eat healthy and you genuinely like that stuff, well, then you go right ahead and do that. But if it's a Whopper, well, you go right ahead with that too. Okay, doesn't have to be expensive, like I said. Whatever floats your boat. Take a food that you love and you eat it and you enjoy your meal and you cherish it and if possible, do it by yourself because it's about you and the relationship to that food. It has nothing to do with anyone else. It's your self-care. And now, you can go to sleep and wake up on Thursday. On Thursday, <clears throat> I am asking you to spend some money could spend 20 cents if you want, okay? Does not matter. But I want you to buy something, anything, doesn't matter what. Buy something that you want, okay? Not something you need for your house, not something for your mom's birthday. 
not something for your you know kitchen because you ran out of bread okay or something like that nothing like that you're not buying anything you need you're buying something you want you could buy a journal you could buy a figurine you could buy a picture frame you could buy a pack of gum okay spend money doesn't have to be a lot I don't have a lot of money and put down that dollar okay and spend it on something that makes you happy something you don't need at all but you just kind of want okay you know when they talk about going to the counter at the grocery store and there's impulse buys like people magazine and packs of tic tacs you know so like it could be as simple as simple as that something you hadn't planned on buying something that you really do not need to buy but you just really want you understand what i mean and if that's true then you've just done four days in a row of self-care let's review before we get to the final one you have listened to a song all by yourself that is personal to you that you feel defines you you have declined something that you don't want to do or take part in you've said no to somebody you have eaten and enjoyed and cherished a meal that is something specific to you that you love and now you have bought something that you don't need you just kind of want it okay and now you're prepared for the final one and the final one is interesting I saved it for last on purpose because now we're going to Friday and it involves your memories now I don't know how many people have been with Linda's world since the very beginning and how many people are just tuning in now like after quarantine you know I got a lot of new viewers after quarantine and over the summer but back in the day okay back in like October or so of last year I had a very primitive video in this video on this on this video on this channel blah, called preserve your memories and in that I was expressing the fact that people tell us memories of their past because they're actually trying to explain to us who they are who they are and I shared three specific memories one from when I was a baby one from when I was three and one from when I was an adult and I had my first dog okay and those three memories that I shared talked about me specifically as a person they kind of highlight who I am right so here's what you want to do for the Friday of the challenge you're going to take a moment by yourself and you're not gonna do anything that involves food or purchases or anything like that you're going to embrace a memory break out the old home movies the old picture albums look online at videos so, or on your phone at videos from years ago okay whatever watch an old television show that you used to watch when you were really really young you know it's funny I think back on some things I watched when I was like little and I didn't get the jokes and now that I'm an adult watching the series I'm like hee 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 you know and just just pick a time you know like dial it back to a year you know when you were five when you were 12 when you were 20 when you were two whatever the case may be and embrace for a while all by yourself or with a buddy if that helps you your memories but they have to be about you not memories of somebody else okay not a memory of a relationship that didn't go right or a memory of you know how people thought that you were at the time a memory of you something that you used to watch all the time or listen to all the time or pictures that were taken of you or old clothing that you used to wear in an old style or something like that do something to embrace old you okay and now you've completed the five-day self-care challenge okay now why have I asked you to do these things specifically and what are we going to do next <laughs> well I'll tell you the answer to that so basically what you've done now is you've just um, covered the bases and all the different types of self-care saying no to somebody for example helps you with your personal self-care of course but also it's more personal and it's more emotional you don't have to get emotionally invested or physically invested for that matter in something that you don't want to for example if someone says hey come here and help me move this sofa and you want to say no you've saved your physical self-care now your back's not gonna hurt okay um, if your boss asks you to do an unpleasant task you say no and you've just ha handled your professional self-care do you see what I mean there um, spending money on something you like just makes you happy and that is your emotional self-care and the song that defines you that's more in terms of somewhat emotional but also your spiritual and psychological self-care you know I'm a person who thinks very deeply about songs I listen lyrics first and then drums second because I just love drums but <laughs> that's beside the point point. and I listen to the lyrics first and I think about is this just a cool story song is this a song that 
involves me? Is this a song that involves someone I know, you know, and, and whatnot? So I get emotionally invested in the lyrics of songs, okay? So nevertheless, you'll have covered all the bases. And that leads us to next week's part two of self-care Sundays, which is mindfulness. Now, do you notice that a couple of times throughout the list that I just gave you, I asked you to do this alone and be mindful of what you were doing. Enjoy your meal by yourself. Look at the home movies or the pictures alone. Listen to the song and absor absorb the song by yourself, right? Well, the reason I'm asking you to do that is not so much because I want you to be alone, but because I want you to be mindful. I want you to be present in the moment of self-care because next week we're embarking on a new journey here in Self-Care Sundays called mindfulness. You've heard the terms, you've seen the books, you've probably watched many of the videos, but I doubt that any of you have experienced what I like to call the mindfulness journal. The mindfulness journal is something I found on Amazon. And of course, if I found it on Amazon, it's not like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not Columbus here, I'm not Magellan, I'm not discovering something that hasn't been discovered before. But I discovered it for me, I hadn't seen it before. And the mindfulness journal is a book that has in it for 365 days, I believe, daily prompts of something to write down to be present in the moment in your life. This mindfulness experience is supposed to alleviate anxiety and it's supposed to help us cope with the present day and to get less anxious about the future and so on. I've said this before in other videos, but you know, a wise man once said that when one is depressed, it is because he is focused too much on the past. And when one is anxious, he is focused too much in the future. And the key to life and not feeling depressed and anxious all the time is to live more in the present. And that's what mindfulness is all about. So now that we've done your past and we've got you all fortified for self-care and we've got you practicing how to be living in the moment, well, now it's time for mindfulness. And that's next week's Self-Care Sundays. I am going to go now because I have a dog to feed and I've got a little mindfulness and self-care of my own to practice. So I'm going to get up off the floor, which has just begun to hurt me what I won't do for a good backdrop. And I will see you guys later in the week with new content. Don't forget that there is new content in Linda's World every Friday and Sunday. And by the way, this week, I'm gonna get a bonus video, but I'm not gonna make any false promises. I'll just let you see what it uploads. And remember, if you have your notifications turned on, you'll know immediately when it happens. Until then, you do your five day self care challenge. I'm gonna do it too. And we're gonna compare notes later on in the week. And now, I bid you adieu and I'm going to go feed my dog and enjoy my Sunday evening. You do the same. See you later in the week.